Hey everybody, Justin Jackson here, and I thought it was time for us to do another landing page teardown. This week, we are looking at vanilla.io. I've just loaded it up. These are my first impressions. Remember that that's not to say that what my advice is going to be perfect or always work, but these are some kind of high level ideas I think that uh, in this case, um, Attila could use to improve this page. So Vanilla is an upcoming open source e-commerce platform for Laravel 5 and PHP 7. There's a lot of words in here. Uh, you've got upcoming, you've got open source, you have e-commerce, you have platform, then you have Laravel 5 and PHP 7. It's just a lot to uh, process all at once. I might shorten all of this to say um, an e-commerce platform for Laravel. Just helps people right away understand what this is for, who it's for, and um, allows them to read this line really quickly. A, a really long sentence is harder to read. And then using this subheader here, you could say coming September 2017, right? So you communicate that it's, it's upcoming, it's not released yet, but you also really quickly say this is what it is and who it's for. Um, I, I like the question you're asking here, um, but... I think better than asking a question in a headline is to just answer it in the headline. So um, it could be like Laravel needs a simple e-commerce solution or um, the simple e-commerce framework you've been looking for. And again, um, maybe this is too long, but answer the question in the headline as opposed to just asking the question. Now, I I'd sometimes ask questions in my headlines too. Um, I've been, uh, I've had some um, really good copywriters uh, critique that technique a little bit because it's just, it, it could be better. Questions don't always make people read down to the next level. And if they're just landing on this page and they want to quickly know, all right, what is this? Who is it for? And what struggle does it help me solve in my life? We've answered those questions with these two really high level um, headlines, right? Uh, another thing, I'm on a 15 inch retina screen and this page isn't loading, like the, the width isn't loading properly. I have to scroll to the right and to the left to see the content. Um, and so even if you, even if we minimize this, it, it feels like there could be a lot more um, margin, padding, spacing uh, on, the, on the landing page template. This is kind of cool. Would you consider using Vanilla for, is it Vanilla? Yeah, Vanilla. I, did I say Vanilla? Oh. Uh, would you consider using Vanilla for your next Laravel e-commerce project and then uh, giving them the ability to, to uh, you know, vote? Uh, one thing is you say thank you for their feedback, but this would be a great time to capture their email address. So uh, enter your email address here. So if the answer is yes, I would be interested, then add a form right there to capture that, that uh, contact information so you can follow up with them when you launch. One thing about uh, this who's behind it section is you give links for people to check out, but I'd really like to see a quick bio. Uh, if you're gonna have a you know who's behind it section, Basically, you want to answer, um, who are you and why should I trust you? That's what I need to know in uh, any sort of bio section. Another thing that's super important, especially in your bio section, is to add some social proof. Who has worked with you before? Where have you been published? Where else can people find your work? Um, you know, give them a reason to trust you. And then when you, you're telling them when this is going to be launched, and then subscribe to email updates. Again, this is really kind of wide. And also the contrast on this, it's not clear that this is an email uh, field. It seems just hard to read. 
I think the other thing you could do with this landing page is really dig into the pain. So you talk a little bit about the pain of working with Magento here, but it's kind of hidden in this section. You could also have uh, a headline that says, I told you not to use, uh, it could be like for developers who are tired of working with Magento, right? Um, really dig into the pain, like what pain are people experiencing when they have to work with Magento or uh, WooCommerce or another PHP e-commerce platform, right? Dig into that pain, really help them feel it, and then say, well, I'm working on a solution. Here is an email sign up button. One last tip is if you have any sort of screenshot, if you can show me what this is going to be about instead of just telling me, uh, that's almost always better. If I can see a video or a screenshot or an animated GIF, just to give people an imagination for what does this product look like and how is it going to improve my life. Uh, one last thing, and this is a minor nitpick, but these grayed out icons make it seem like they, these are inactive, like that I can't click on them. Uh, they are clickable, but especially when you put them right next to a colored icon here that is clickable, these feel like these are like inactive states or something, something that isn't clickable. So I, I would have them, I know this is probably your logo, but if you are going to use these icons, I would have them uh, like an active color, either this blue or this uh, reddish purple you're using down here so people know that these are clickable, that they're not just like coming soon or something. All right, so that's it. A super quick landing page teardown. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and go visit uh, vanillo.io and uh, check it out for yourself, especially if you are a Laravel developer. All right, talk to you soon.